since I started this YouTube channel, I received the question, how can I get into information technology? How can I land a job in IT? And it's a very interesting question coming from people either fresh out of college with no direction or no idea where to take their career, or it comes from people stuck in a dead end career where they just have zero interest or they're not engaged really, or they really are looking for something better. And they heard about working in information technology is a great area to be in. And yes, IT offers so many different career path options. It's almost impossible not to find something there. And in today's video, I want to show you how you can make that very first step into one specific direction in information technology. But from there, you can take your career then in many different paths. The main thing these jobs or career paths have in common, the entry point. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, my name is Christoph Putz. I'm your IT career guide. And here on this YouTube channel, we talk about the different career options in information technology. I also want to point out that this video is kindly sponsored by Coursera. Coursera is an e-learning or online education company. And yes, for this video, I'm really happy that they reached out to sponsor it because I want to show you how to use a program from Coursera's website and build that foundation, that very first step that will help you to land your first job in information technology. So I mentioned that IT has many different career paths to offer. But it's not always easy to get right into that career path that is of interest for you. You have to find an entry point where you can make that first step into information technology and then start building up to, to gain experience, to gain more knowledge, and then go into the right direction for that career path that is of interest for you. Or you discover a new path that you want to go down. That entry point is very critical. And the entry point I want to focus on today is related to IT support. I personally started out in IT support using an IT certification. And yes, once I was in IT, it was so much easier to identify, okay, I like system administration. That's the way I want to go. IT support is also a very interesting role in information technology. So for one, the job market in this area is always looking for new talent to get in because IT support is a starting point. So a lot of people get into IT, they start in IT support, and after one or two years, or maybe even faster, or maybe even a little later, they switch from IT support to, let's say, system administration, or they wanna work in software development, or they wanna become a database administrator. So many different career options, all coming from that same starting point to work in IT support. How do you get a first job in IT support? Well, you need some knowledge in that perspective. And if you don't have an opportunity to work and learn in this field, you might want to take a look at IT certifications. And that's really where I want to point you to the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. So this course is hosted at Coursera and the Google IT Support Professional Certificate is a course that offers really a solid foundation if you want to get into IT support. So let's switch to the computer and I'll show you what's included in this course. And then I will point out why I really like the different sub-courses of this Google IT Support Professional Certificate. Okay, here we are at the website for the Google IT Support Professional Certificate at Coursera. Before we go into more details regarding this program, let's take a look at this box here on the right-hand side with some, I would say, important information for you. So for one, this program is rated at 4.8 stars and has almost 160,000 reviews. This program is rated as a beginner level and Coursera recommends that you take about six months with 10 hours per week to complete this program. However, realistically, I would say you can easily do this in 30 to 60, maybe 90 days uh, to complete this program. So I don't think it's that difficult, that challenging. This is a self-paced study program. Your schedule is absolutely flexible. The other interesting thing is that you can earn some uh, college credits by completing this program. Then we take a look at the left-hand side. So you can enroll for free into this program. There's a seven-day full access trial. And after seven days, Coursera starts charging you $49 per month. So if you can complete this program in 30, 60, or 90 days, at most you would pay $147. And um, I think that's a really fair price for what you get in return. Remember, this is a starting point to get into IT with your career. And for $147 or less, I think it's a really good deal. Take a look what you can learn when you complete this program and earn the certificate. So for one, you can really learn the skills that you need to succeed in an entry-level IT job. And that's really the starting point. It's an entry-level IT job. You would be able to do IT support, be an IT technician, something in that regards. So you will learn how to provide end-to-end -end customer support 
And of course, you will be able to identify problems and how to troubleshoot them and potentially even debug any problems. You will learn about day-to-day -day IT support tasks, and this includes how to assemble a computer, how to set up a wireless network or connect to a wireless network. You will learn about installing software programs, and you will learn critical customer service skills. And I want to highlight the importance of having good customer service skills, not just for this entry-level IT job that you're probably going after, but almost in any type of job where you interact with other people. So what I really like to see here is that customer service option is included in this program. What you learn here will help you in so many different areas of your professional life. So why do I recommend this program for you in general? I already mentioned a few items here, but I want to say this prepares you for a career in IT support. You will receive really professional level training from Google. At the end, you will be able to demonstrate your proficiency in portfolio-ready projects. So you're not just studying and reading stuff, you will be able to go through a project and complete the tasks that you are challenged with. When you complete this program and you earn the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, this certificate is highly regarded by a large number of employers in the United States. There's a list of 150 organizations that accept the certificate and know the value behind it. So of course, Google is one of those companies, but it also shows here Salesforce, Adobe, T-Mobile, and Wells Fargo. So there's a total of 150 companies involved and you will get access to that list so that when you complete this program that you can start applying for jobs uh, at these companies. But now let's go and take a look at the actual five courses that are made making up this program. So this program is made out of five courses as mentioned. So there's the technical support fundamentals, then there is the bits and bytes of computer networking, operating systems and you, how you can become a power user, system administration and IT infrastructure services, and then very important IT security. They label it here as defense against the digital dark arts. And I'm really happy that IT security plays an important role in this program. The times that we live in really require an increased skill set in regards to IT security, and not just from a professional level, but also for you as the private person that is browsing the internet, using the internet for online banking and so on. So learning these specific skills, I'm really happy to see that here. But now let's take a look into each of these five courses in more detail. First, we have the technical support fundamentals. Let's look at the details. And I will not go through all the details. I will just highlight one or two per course so that you have a good understanding of what is included and why does it matter. So here in this course, it's really the basic introduction. You will learn about what is computer hardware, what is the internet, what is computer software, what is troubleshooting, and what is customer service. I mentioned earlier already how important it is to have great customer service skills. I'm really happy that this is included. I would highly recommend that you spend enough time on understanding it and really building that customer service mindset. It will help you with your start in information technology. The other thing that is really important here is that you will learn how to assemble a computer from scratch and you will learn how to install the operating system on that computer. By learning and understanding how to assemble a computer and how to install the operating system, you already gain a lot of good knowledge in regards to what you need later on. Let's say the troubleshooting. If you don't know what parts are included when you assemble a computer, well, it makes it much more challenging when you have to troubleshoot a problem that is potentially a hardware problem. The same thing with the operating system. If you know how the operating system is installed on a computer, it gives you a different level of appreciation for how this machine works and then what parts are included when you configure the operating system in the beginning. So this is what I highlight for the technical support fundamentals. Let's go to the bits and bytes of computer networking. The bits and bytes of computer networking. So here I wanna pause for a moment and just point out, this is one of the most critical skills that one needs to have if you wanna succeed in information technology. Computer networking is one of the foundational areas that you need to spend a lot of time on. Don't skip this here. Don't just rush through and think, okay, I got it. Understanding how TCP IP works and the different other protocols that you will be involved with is such a critical skill set. And I met too many technicians, support engineers, system administrators, or systems engineers that really just did not have this knowledge. And it showed when they ran into problems. They were not able to troubleshoot. They were not able to deliver the best work possible simply because they didn't have the skill set and they never really went back to understand computer networking and acquire the skill set. So very, very important. This is all I have to say here. 
uh, it's a very complex area. So now let's move on to the operating systems and you how to become a power user. So let's look at the operating systems and why they are so important. When you turn on a computer, what does it do? It usually boots into the operating system. Then when you log in and you start using software applications, they run on top of the operating system. If your operating system is not functioning correctly, well, guess what? You have major problems. Here in this section of this program, you will learn how to navigate the Windows and the Linux operating systems. You will learn how to install and configure software, and you will really get a good understanding of the different processes that run on top of the system. And then again, it goes back to the troubleshooting. So if you know how the operating system functions and interacts with the computer hardware, what else you need to do to keep the operating system happy it gives you the advantage that some other people don't have. And this is really a good skill to have, especially when you go and apply for your first roles and you go through the job interview process. Having that good knowledge and the good understanding of how an operating system functions and how to troubleshoot it, it will give you that really that edge, the advantage. And also here in this program, you will learn about Windows and Linux. So those are the two most common business operating systems. So focus on Windows and Linux. And I would say if you can master the Windows side of things, uh, you will be in good shape. Next up is the System Administration IT Infrastructure Services course. So here, this is one of those items where you probably wonder, okay, what's going on here? Why is this included? I wanna troubleshoot computers. I wanna um, build computers. Why do I need to learn about system administration IT infrastructure services? When you get into a corporate environment and you connect a computer to the network and you start working on it, well, guess what? You will connect to certain IT infrastructure services. And if you work in a corporate environment, there will be some sort of system administration going on. For one, it's being used to manage the end user devices like laptops or desktop computers, but it's also to manage the systems that these end user devices connect to. Yeah, if everything runs smooth, everything is good, life is good, but not always is everything running smooth. You will need to learn to understand how these items play together. You will need to learn about best practices. You will need to learn about, well, choosing hardware that works easily together. If you mix and match different hardware, uh, well, you can cause problems in your environment. So you want to stick to certain standards. Ideally, you want to work with the same vendors over and over again once you have identified a vendor and partner that really delivers not just hardware or software, but also services and knowledge and also helps you if there is a problem. And then here, you really need to understand what are the most common infrastructure services that are keeping an organization running. So be it Active Directory from the Windows side or connecting to the cloud, managing infrastructure servers that are sitting on-prem. If you work in a remote office, you might be the only IT person on site. So if you know how a computer server works and you are able to support the larger infrastructure team or system administration team, well, it might even open a door for your career path to progress to that next step. Last but not least, IT security, the defense against the digital dark arts. So let's pause here for a moment. The defense against the digital dark arts. You've probably seen movies or read stories about computer hackers, how they sit in those dark rooms with lots of screens and numbers and whatever else flashing on the screens. Yeah, that's probably the dark arts that Google and Coursera are referring here to. When you go into this specific course, you will learn about important IT security concepts, tools, and best practices. So this is what you need to learn and understand to protect a company, to protect a computer, to protect a network against those hackers that you've probably seen in movies. So here in this specific course, it's very important that you think about this not just from the business perspective, but also that this is a skill that you can use in your personal life because information security doesn't stop when you leave your workplace, it carries on into your personal life. So if you look at the bottom bullet point here, how to help others to grasp security concepts and protect themselves. Think about your family, think about spouse, parents, kids, and so on. This is a skill set. if you have this, you can make their life significantly better. Then when you go back to the customer service perspective that I mentioned earlier, if you understand how IT security works, how to protect a network, how to protect a computer, and you start troubleshooting problems, you talk to the end users, and you can identify easily, it's like, okay, this person knows what they're doing, or another one is like, oh, this is really dangerous. You can educate users in a very helpful and easy way 
based on the knowledge that you get from this specific course. So I think for one, getting the understanding for yourself is very critical and then combine this with customer service. Well, this is definitely a winner. And from my perspective, spend a lot of time on this specific course within the Google IT Support Professional Certificate Program and your IT career will benefit from it. So I just showed you really what's included at Coursera for the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. There are so many, I want to say, foundational steps involved. So no matter where you go after IT support, this knowledge that you gain is very critical because if you don't have your foundation in place, it's very challenging to build a solid career. I previously mentioned that I broke into IT by becoming IT certified. It took me over 200 job applications to land my very first job in IT. And that's really the next thing that I want to point out here. Go and get the Google IT Support Professional Certification. But don't see it as your lottery ticket that gets you that very first job. Yes, it's a great option to potentially land that first job. And I really want to motivate you to, once you have this certification, go and put it on your resume and start applying for jobs. But don't stop there. So working in IT is a career where you have to constantly be learning new technologies, new ways of working. And the same thing applies here. Okay, you're trying to get into IT. You have the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, but don't stop there. Look for an additional certification course that will complement the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. Look at it from really, okay, I have one foot on the ground, I'll get another one. What this does when you apply for a job and you start talking to a hiring manager is that you A, showcase that you are willing to take action. You started learning, you became certified not only once, but maybe twice or maybe three times, depending on what certification course you choose. But the hiring manager will also look at you and say, okay, that person is willing to put in the extra work. They are certified. They are motivated. And often when you look at to fill a role as a hiring manager, it's not just, okay, that person has the knowledge, but is totally unmotivated compared to an applicant that, okay, maybe doesn't have as much work experience, but is really, really motivated. For me as a hiring manager, that really, really motivated person might be much more valuable because that team member can provide so much more compared to somebody that is just there to collect a paycheck. So let's summarize this real quick. So you want to get into IT. I showed you that you can use IT support as a starting point and get into different areas. To get your first job in IT, well, get an IT certification that is related to IT support. It's foundational knowledge that you will learn. And the Coursera course for the Google IT Support Professional Certificate checks all the boxes in a certain way. But then again, also don't use it as that only point that you want to do and get into IT. No, you continue learning, you continue building up a skill set. And Coursera offers quite a few additional options there. I will link to that down in the video description so that you can check it out and maybe start mapping out where you want to go with your career in information technology. And of course, if you have any questions, please put it into the comments. I'll be happy to answer. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I also want to point out again that Coursera has kindly sponsored this video. All opinions in this video are my own. If you have any questions or concerns related to that, please leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer your questions at any point in time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.